Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be changing out the uh, rear drum brake. All right, so let's get started. The first step is we're gonna jack up the car and take off the wheel. After that, we're gonna use a T30 Torx bit to remove the uh, bolt holding on the drum. Okay, so after you've taken off the uh, bolt, there's nothing else holding the drum except for uh, the rust. So we're gonna use a sledgehammer and beat on it a bit so we can free it up. Okay, so after we've taken off the drum, uh, you want to just go ahead and take a picture of the whole set because uh, since uh, there's a lot going on, it could be intimidating at first. Okay, so they make specific tools to uh, replace all the uh, shoes and the springs. Uh, but for this job, I'm only going to be using one plier. Um, this set of plier has uh, teeth at the end of it, so it's going to help me uh, a lot in the process. And I'll show you how. Okay, so the next step is we're going to start removing the... Uh, brake shoes so you want to use a pry bar and uh, pry against the spring and then you want to use the pliers to grab on the uh, tip of the pin and twist it free and after that we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay after that we're going to go ahead and take off the uh, left side of the top spring and just be careful because the whole assembly is going to fall apart so uh, just be ready for that okay so after you've taken off the uh, brake shoes and the spring uh, what you should have left is just the uh, handbrake cable and the wheel cylinder so we're just going to head and use some uh, brake cleaner to remove the uh, dirt that's caked on the bolts okay so the next step is we're just going to remove the grommet for the speed sensor and then use a uh, E10 socket to remove the bracket that's holding the brake line and the uh, wire for the speed sensor. Okay, after that we're gonna use a 13 millimeter flare nut wrench to remove the brake line. Remove the uh, brake line. You want to just use a bungee cord and uh, hang it on the uh, top of the uh, shock so it won't drip down. Uh, don't worry about uh, plugging the uh, brake line. We're going to have to bleed the uh, new wheel cylinder anyway later on. Okay, after that, we're going to remove the uh, wheel cylinder and it's uh, held on by uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. So for the right side bolt, you want to just use a long 10 millimeter socket since uh, the head of the ratchet is going to hit on the uh, speed sensor. Okay, so now there's nothing else holding the uh, wheel cylinder. So we're going to use a pry bar and uh, pry against the wheel hub to free it. You could also use a small hammer to hammer on the uh, top of it to free it. Uh, what's holding it is basically just corrosion and rust. Okay, so after that we're just going to use a wire brush to clean the surface. So uh, we make sure the new wheel cylinder sits properly. Okay, so now that you've uh, taken out the uh, wheel cylinder, we're just going to compare it to the new one. Uh, the new one I got is from uh, Centric. And you just want to make sure they uh, they look the same. So once the surface is clean, we're going to put the uh, new wheel cylinder and uh, tighten up the two 10 millimeter bolts. Then the next step is we're going to put the uh, brake line back in. After that we're going to reattach the uh, grommet and then uh, use our uh, E10 bolt to secure the bracket back on. You just want to spray some uh, brake cleaner to clean off all the uh, brake fluid that dripped down. Okay, so before we assemble the new uh, brake shoes and the new springs, we're just going to lay down all the uh, 
old parts on the ground. So the uh, self-adjuster kit from the uh, old part is what we're going to be reusing for the uh, new brake chute. So the new uh, brake hardware kit comes with uh, the parts here. Um, and these are the only parts that I won't be uh, reusing. So what we're going to be replacing is the uh, two springs, the uh, two pins, and the uh, two springs with the cups that hold the uh, brake shoes. So the uh, new brake shoes comes with the uh, parking brake um, arm already attached. But if you uh, bought a kit and it didn't come uh, already uh, attached, I'll show you how to remove the uh, old one and uh, attach it to the new brake shoe. So you're going to take the uh, new pin that comes with the uh, kit, the washer and the clip and then uh, you're going to attach it like I did in the video here. So the pin goes on the uh, top of the uh, brake shoe and it can only go in one way. And after that you're going to put the uh, parking brake uh, arm like I'm doing here. And if you were to remove the arm for the parking brake, at the end it should look like that. And it could only go in one way, so uh, you can't really mess it up. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take the uh, right side brake shoe and then attach it to the uh, parking cable. Okay, so for this part you're going to need like 20 arms. So uh, to make this process easier, we're going to use uh, some C-clamp vice strips to hold on the uh, brake shoe. And uh, once you've locked it in place against the uh, vacuum plate, we can go ahead and uh, put the uh, spring cup, the spring and the uh, pin. Okay, so for this part, uh, with your left hand, you want to push the uh, pin through the back and hold it there. And with your uh, right hand, you want to hold the uh, spring and the spring cup with the plier and push in to secure the pin. And then after that you could uh, unlock the uh, vice grips. Okay so here I'm just showing you how the uh, pin and the uh, cup locks in. Yeah once you feed the uh, pin through the uh, hole vertically you want to twist it so it sits horizontally and that's how it locks in the uh, spring and the cup together. Okay, so the next step is we're going to use a wire brush to clean uh, the uh, surface where the uh, brake shoe sits. And after that we're going to apply some uh, anti-seize. I forgot to do it on the uh, right side brake shoe, so uh, just make sure you guys get both sides. Okay, so now we're going to put the uh, left side shoe. And the left side shoe has a pin on top, so where the uh, spring is going to hold. And same thing with the left side, we're going to lock it down with the... Uh, the vice grips. It might take you a few tries since the uh, spring tends to just fly out. Okay, so when taking out the uh, hardware kit, uh, your uh, self-adjuster kit probably uh, fell apart. So uh, to put it back, it's only three parts, uh, like I'm showing here.
Okay, so we're gonna put back the uh, self-adjuster kit. We're gonna start by putting the uh, clip on the left side shoe. And then after that, you're gonna put the uh, self-adjuster between the uh, two brake shoes. It has two notches on the left side and one notch on the uh, right side, so it can only go uh, one way. And to uh, put the uh, right side, you want to just sneak it under the brake shoe and just have it sit there until we put the uh, top spring on. Okay, so the next step is we're going to put the top spring. The uh, right side of the spring goes in the uh, little hole on the uh, right side shoe. And the uh, left side spring, we're going to pull it all the way and attach it to the uh, clip for the self-adjuster, like I'm doing here. Okay, so now that we've uh, secured the top spring, we're going to go ahead and secure the bottom spring. So the bottom spring hooks on both uh, brake shoes and goes behind this uh, little uh, metal bracket here. Okay, so now that everything is secure, uh, you just want to push on top of the uh, brake shoe. Okay, so uh, the next step before putting the uh, new drum back on, we're just going to clean it with the, uh, some brake cleaner. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, problem that you might run into. The uh, drum won't go on. Uh, that's because the uh, brake shoes are too far apart. Okay, so to fix that, we're going to use a uh, flathead screwdriver and uh, turn the uh, adjuster downwards. Okay, so now that the uh, drum is on, we're going to have to play with the adjuster so we can get the uh, shoes and the drum at the uh, perfect distance. Okay, so when you turn the adjuster uh, downwards, it's going to bring the shoes closer together, uh, therefore making more space for the drum. Okay, so now we're going to test fit the drum and uh, the way it's rotating, uh, it's too loose, so we're going to have to adjust it again. So when you push the adjuster upwards, it's going to push the brake shoes further apart, therefore making the fit on the uh, drum more tight. And now for the second test fit, uh, as you can see, I could barely rotate it, so this time it's it was way too tight. And then for the third test fit, we're just going to loosen it just a bit so we could get that uh, exact sweet spot. So now that the brake shoes are adjusted and the drum fits nicely, we're going to go ahead and secure it with the T30 bolt. Okay, and the next step is we're going to bleed the uh, new uh, wheel cylinder if you did change it out. So the bleeder screw is a 11mm bolt. And the final step is you'll put back the wheel and uh, torque it down. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully this video was helpful. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the uh, comments below and I'll uh, be glad to help you out.